Well, I want to thank you for joining another broadcast of Living Branch Hebrew Assembly. And we're thankful to those that have joined us. <clears throat> the Father truly is good, and we thank the Father for Mashiach Yahusha, who has pardoned our sins, and we're just so grateful for another Shabbat as it comes in. Not quite sunset yet, and but we are thankful that Shabbat will soon be here. So by the time we finish our broadcast and doing the little things that we have to do, it should be Shabbat. So <clears throat> Shabbat is a good thing where we get to spend time with the Father, get to rejuvenate our spirits from all the rigor of the workplace and for those of us that work and the things that we have to go through on a day-to-day -day basis or on a weekly basis. We can lay all that stuff aside and, and just be thankful to the Father that he gave us a day of rest that is patterned after him and no one else. So we're thankful, and we thank Yahuwah for being able to feel his rest, to feel his presence. So what I want to do, Ms. Baka, uh, let's do a preliminary things. Uh, if you um, would like to send me your prayer requests, send them to prayer at living branchorg and we are literally reaching out globally. Our witnessing website is yahuwah.co. Our main website is living-branch.org. And our auxiliary website is hebrewfoundation.org. We, we've sent out um, bookmarkers this week. Uh, we've had a chance to send some out to Ecuador. So we're reaching... You know, we're, we're just, you know, putting these bookmarkers in the hands of those that want to go out and be a witness and that realize that we've got to, you know, we can't just stay locked up in four walls, that we've got to reach out and every opportunity we get, we got to be proclaiming his name and leading people back to this way of life, um, this Torah, because it's his instructions. So for those of you that haven't uh, ordered bookmarkers as of yet, uh, if you will, you know, put them in, it doesn't cost you anything. We send them out free. Uh, some are able to give donations to help keep this program um, rolling and some aren't able. So regardless of whether, you know, if you don't have a dime in your pocket, that's fine. Put in, I'll send them to you. As long as you're going to pass them out, because that's what we're all about. We're trying to reach souls, and there are souls um, all around the world that need to hear about the name of Yahuwah, and he's restoring his name. Some of the places he's restoring his name, I'm like, my goodness, I never would have imagined some of the places that people are gravitating and learning about his name. And he's not limited in scope to where uh, he's reaching out. Um, you know, all during the week, I have people contact me from all around the world. And I'm just thankful because the Father's reaching. It's not something we're doing. He's reaching out his hand and we're putting things in place to try to reach even more people. Uh, we have people all the way you wouldn't believe from Dubai. Um, we have Alex in Dubai and we have people all in Canada, uh, Australia. I mean, that are just relaying this message of Yahuwah. And I tell you, um, I was encouraged. One of the sisters um, that had ordered some of the um, our book, which is a. Uh, the basics of Torah, the book of life, the book of life. And she's been handing them out to, um, 
The father, I mean, the father's been leading it. She give people a book marker and a book. And, you know, this is reports people are getting understanding about Torah because most of us are just taught from a New Testament perspective. But all of the New Testament or the Brit Hadashah, it has its foundation in the Tanakh. And the Tanakh is the prophets, is the Torah, the first five books, the prophets and the writings. So all of your definitions for righteousness, uh, you want to learn about faith, if you want to learn uh, how to live, how to please him, it's all in those books. So when we come over to look at the Brit Hadashah, the New Testament, we're looking at a people that already understood a culture and we're trying to peer into it when they already understood that when Shabbat was, they understood that it was Passover and not Easter. So, you know, some of the things that we are, you know, get confused on, they already knew. And keep in mind, there was no, when when um, Paul or, or um, the Apostle Paul or Saul, Peter and John or Yehuchanan, when all of the disciples were following, what did they look to to find out what did they call scripture? They didn't have a Matthew through Revelations. That wasn't even written. So they looked to the prophets. They looked to the Torah. They looked to the writings. That's where they got, that's where they got all their information from. That's what they call scripture. And the, the Brit Hadashah is just simply witness to the things that were done, the eyewitness. But your instructions are going to come in the Tanakh, the Torah, the prophets, and the writings. So let's pray Mishpachah, um, and then we'll get into a little short lesson that the Father has put on my heart. Father, in the name of Yahusha, we thank you for another Shabbat. We say, Toda Rabbah, thank you very much, Father, for allowing us to see another Shabbat as it comes in. I pray, Father, to the listening audience that's out there that... You would speak a word to them. Speak something that will bring life to their spirit, that will lift them up, that will cause them to feel you still moving in their life. Father, some have in situations, some that they can't even explain. And, you know, sometimes when we get in situations, Father, sometimes we can lose hope. We can lose the very sense of what's going on around us and be lost. But I pray, Father, that you would shine your light, give them direction, give them hope, give them encouragement like never before. Lift up their spirits. Let them know, Father, that anything that they're faced with, that you're there and you can guide them through it. That by through the Ruach HaKadosh, the set-apart spirit, and through your word, they can navigate they can't make it through this because it's only a test. And Father, we're living so that we can spend eternity with you. We don't want to just, um, you know, spend just a moment, but we want to be with you in the set apart city, Jerusalem, me, Jerusalem, when you come and when you bring it for us, we want to be ready. Make us ready. In the name of Mashiach, Yahusha, Halel to Yahuwah, Amin. <clears throat> and Amin. So, what we want to um, just talk just a little bit about. And, you know, and, and what I'm going to do is just share a little bit with you as the Royal Kokodesh leads. I, and one thing I want to remind you of is to guard your spirit or your Ruach. Um, and to seek Yahuwah's face, to learn from your situation and those around you. So we've got to ever be tuned in because the Father's always teaching us. But the question is, are we always in the classroom and are we always paying attention as a good student? Or do we get sidetracked you know how they used to the kids used to do in the classroom. You get to playing with your friends and stuff, or or you get 
so distracted looking at something maybe outside the window that you miss the very thing that the teacher uh, was going to test you on. Then when test time comes, you're like, I don't remember this. But the teacher went over it. It's just you were playing. So we've, we've got to be in a position where we're taking in, we've got to, we've got to examine every little crevice of our life and, and see and know that the Father's trying to teach us something. You know, whether it's, whether it's a trial, whether we feel up, whether we feel down, we've got to look for his hand and know that nothing happens by chance, but everything that happens passed through him. He had to allow it. So what I want to do, first of all, I want to talk about healing because there are a lot of people out there that need physical healing, but there are a lot that have been through situations in their life that need emotional and spiritual healing and that suffer um, from various things. And what I found out that a lot of us that the Father has called suffer from different things, depression, anxiety. And, and it's because what, what the enemy is really trying to do, he's trying to crack us. He, want, he don't want us to reach the point where we can start fulfilling the Father's destiny in us, where he's called us to be. So he's trying very hard to keep you from that. And not only does he use his, his powers and his available resources, he used the very things that are in you to try to accomplish this task too. And your emotions, your feelings, how you think and process, those are the things that we have got to address in us so that we can be closer to the Father. Because remember, he always talks about his thoughts are not like our thoughts. His ways are not like our ways. So we've got to get out of ourselves and learn his ways. If we want this, if we want the Father to produce the healings and the results in our life, We've got to be reprogrammed. We sometimes, you know, we think we can reprogram him and say, Father, this is how I want it. If you don't give it to me like this, then it can't be you. But see, that's where we make our mistake. Because instead of us, us compartmentalizing the father, we're the ones that really need to change and start being more like him to seek his face, to seek his presence. And because not only to hear him, but to see him in scripture, how he acted and how he performed, what he said, what he loves, what he hates. These are things we need to know so that we can be more like him so we can see his presence. So I want to talk, like I said, a little bit about healing. Because all of us need this process in our lives about healing. So let's go here. Um, the first scripture I want us to look at is going to be in Bereshit chapter 20, verse 17. And don't worry, I'm going to increase it so that you can see it. I'll close this window down and we'll make it a little bit bigger because we want you to be able to see this thing. See it with the natural eye and see it in your spirit, your Ruach. So now look here. Here we have, and, and just so you know who we're talking about. We're talking about Abimelech. You know, he was he was uh, one of the kings there in Egypt. Okay, so let's, let's go down. He had taken Sarah. Uh, Abraham's wife, because Abraham had said she was his, her, his sister. So after the father shows up, reproves Abimelech in a dream and tell him that, you know, he kept him from doing anything. Now we come down to how Abimelech had to get his healing. Now, keep in mind, 
the father told Abimelech that Abraham was a prophet. He was a Nabi. Okay, so here in Bereshit chapter 20, verse 17. So Abraham prayed unto Elohim, and Elohim healed. This, this is what we want to focus on right here. Healed. Let's bring it up so we can look at it. It's Rafa. Okay. Healed Abimelech and his wife and his wife and his maidservants. And they bear children. For Yahuwah had fast closed up all the wounds in the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. So now, so he fastened the wounds of Abimelech's wife, his Isha, and his maid servants, his Amma. So those in his house, Abimelech could not get pregnant because of what he did. And Abraham had to pray for them in order, and now notice here you see prayer. Palal. He had to pray for them in order for them to um, be healed and be able to produce. Now, here we have, I want to look at the word heal, which is Rafa. Now, notice over here, I, I want you to, I'll make this a little bigger. Okay, Rafa. Okay, it's a prime root, so that means usually prime root. So prime root is uh, has three Hebrew letters that makes up the word, and from the prime roots and parent roots, you have other words that are made. Okay, but primarily your words are going to come from prime roots. Now notice what it means here: properly to mend by stitching. Figuratively to cure. And it can be translated as heal, physician, repair, thoroughly made whole. Now, pictographically, your resh here means head or beginning. The olive means strong. And then you have wife. I mean, you have um, a pay or fe. Here's a fe. And it means word of mouth. So we're talking about beginning or head, strong word of mouth. So notice before we get to the word heal, we have Abraham prayed. So so there is a healing that can take place when you're prayed for. Now, granted, you don't want everybody praying for you. Now, when I say you don't want everybody, because sometimes people think there's some kind of mystical formula. You know, I'm going to sprinkle water on you five times and this is going to happen. But prayer is... Is dependent upon the person praying that they're righteous. Remember, it says over in James, the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And what was Abraham? He was a righteous man. And so, in turn, Abimelech was healed. And you find the same scenario occurred, a uh, similar scenario occurred. To Job, Job had to pray or Job had to pray for his friends to be healed because the father was upset with them. So this healed or heal is the beginning or head strong words. Now, what now? Let me ask you this, because this is really going to help some of us when it comes down to prayer. What is the strongest words that you know in this life and life to come? 
the strongest words that you know is the word of Allah. It goes on and tells us that his word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. But guess what? If you don't know his word, how can this healing, which begins with a strong word of mouth, come through you? That's why I keep emphasizing, Miss Baka, we got to get into his word. You know, forget about all the, the, the stuff that people are trying to portray and get us to go in and they're trying to get us to follow after. We need to get into his word, be able to speak his word, be able to live his word. That's where the healing is going to take place in our bodies. It's going to take place in our spirits, our ruach. And it's going to take place in our soul, our nefesh. That's when we get this word. Okay. Now, hallelujah. Let's look at, I want you to look at this because you need to see this for yourself. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Lashon. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So this is where death and life is in that power of the tongue. So just wanted to, just wanted to throw that in there real quick. So let's go to Exodus chapter 20 because we're talking about healing. There's some things that many of us need to be healed from. Some of it is our past. Whether it's experience with others, uh, experience in bad relationships, experience in bad marriages, experience in, um, you know, just seems like every corner you turn, um, everything closes. So it, it has affected us, our mental thought process, uh, healing from negativity. Um, because of all the negative things that are happening in our life and you wonder when in the world is something told but good going to happen to me. So it, it's a lot of healing that needs to take place in some of us. Broken homes. And notice, notice that what I'm talking about are experiences that we've had in our lives. So we can take experience and we can harness it in a positive way. Or we can take experience and use it in a negative way that brings destruction to us. So you might have had some traumatic things that happened to you in your life. But what I always tell people, let's say you had something traumatic happen. Why don't you use that traumatic thing that happened? It's therapy and help others that might be going through the same thing you went through. Okay. It might work for you. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to Exodus chapter 15. Verse 26. Okay, notice. And if thou will hearken diligently to the voice of Yahuwah, thy Elohim, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep his statutes, and I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I brought upon the Egyptians. For I am Yahuwah that healeth. There's that word again, Rapha, thee. Now notice, what's the prerequisite 
well, we won't say prerequisite, but what what keeps you, what makes you heal, what makes you mended, what cures you, what makes you whole. Notice what it talked about. If thou will hearken diligently to the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim, and will do which is right in his sight, not what's in your sight. So we're not talking about your opinion or how you feel or your emotions. What's right in his sight and will give ear to whose commandments? To his commandments. And keep his statutes and will put, he said, I will put none of these diseases, sicknesses. Let's look, let's just look at sickness. Just, just, just for grins. Infirmities. It comes from Chalak to rub, to be rubbed or worn, to be weak, sick, afflicted. This is this is this right here is the root word. That's what I'm looking at. To grieve, to make sick, also to stroke and flattering and treat. So this is the word we're, we're seeing right here. Maha ach. No, excuse me. Maha le. Le, eh. Le, maha le. Which is disease or sickness. So, his word, and we're going to see here as we keep reading, brings a healing like never before. And we've got to seek therapy. In the word of Allah. Now, I, I thought this was interesting because I want to show you an instance where someone that was righteous prayed for someone that did something unrighteous, but the person still had to go through something because of what they did. They got their healing, but it didn't come ASAP. Okay. You remember when Miriam and Aharon cried out against their brother, Moshe, because of the Ethiopian wife he took? Well, look here. It is something else. And let me tell you, I, I want to go up because this is this is so interesting. Because the father does not play. And Yahuwah spake suddenly unto Mos Moshe and unto Aharon and unto Miriam. Come out you three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they came out. And Yahuwah came down in a pillar of cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aharon and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, hear now my words. Whoa, father ain't playing. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahuwah, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moshe is not so, who is, who is faithful in all mine house. With, whom, with him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark sayings. And the similitude of Yahuwah shall he behold. Wherefore then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moshe? And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against them, and he departed. Okay, I just want to give you that background. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam came leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was, she was leprous. And Aharon said unto Moshe, Alas, my sovereign. I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, 
wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is halfway consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. Now notice this. This is where I want to pick up. And Moshe cried unto Yahuwah, saying, Heal, that's our word, Rapha, make her whole, cure her. I'll put it back over here. Now, O El, I beseech thee. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, If her father had but spit in her face, should not should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut up out, of, out from the camp seven days. And after that, let her be received again. And Miriam was set out, shut out from the camp seven days. And the people journeyed not until Miriam was brought in again. So, healing. You can't go against the word of Allahim. And expect the healing. Just wanted to bring that point out to you. You can't live unrighteous. And then expect him. You know. You're doing what you know you're not supposed to be doing. But you want him to heal you. And do all these things. Isn't uh -uh, No, 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 no. Righteousness still exalts the nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. So, just I just want to come. I, I have to. Uh, sometimes you got to prove your point. So let's go to Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Notice what he said. This is what comes, and let's go back up because I want you to see where this comes from. We're dealing here with the curses. Okay, we've already read. We um, the blessings are. Versus um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1 through 14. Now we get into the curses and let's see why these curses come. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah the Elohim to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, so we're dealing with the curses. So let's go back down to verse 27. And this is what happens when you're not obedient. There can't be healing in disobedient because the word has to be strong. Remember our word over here for healing, beginning or head, excuse me, beginning or head, strong word. And even if you wanted to use the other spelling, beginning or head, behold, word or mouth. So whose mouth are we beholding? Yahuwah's. And Yahuwah will smite thee with blotch, with the blotch of Egypt, and with emeralds, and with scalp, and with itching, excuse me, with itch. Whereof thou canst not be Rapha healed. This is when you don't obey. Okay, let's jump down to 35. See what we got. And excuse me, Yahuwah shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore blotch that cannot be healed. From the sore of thy feet unto the top of thy head. Notice that cannot, all of this is the product of not being obedient, not following his word. I can't put it no other way, Miss Paka. Okay, let's go to Deuteronomy 32. Verse 39. See now. That I, even I, am he, and there is no other mighty one with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal. Neither is there anything that can 
uh, any that can deliver out of my hand. Man, I tell you, I, I can't see why someone wouldn't want to serve him. I, I'd be scared not to. Notice over here in Psalms 107 verse 20. He sent his word, Dabar. Now, what was the meaning of heal? Rafa, beginning or head strong word. And what does it say? And healed Rafa us and delivered them from their destruction. Okay, let's go to Psalms. 143 verse 3. He healeth the broken heart and he bind up their wounds I tell you this is what our powerful Yahuwah does finally we're going to go to Hosea chapter 6 verse 1 what does he tell you talking about all those that are backslidden some might listen to this video today. Some might be on live. Some might view it at a sometime in the future. But he tells us, come, let us return unto Yahuwah. For he has torn and he will heal us. He has smitten he will bind us up. I felt something there. So many times. This, this is the vice. Come. Let us return. Now, just so you know, this. look down here. This is not the Lord in Hebrew. It's a name there. It's a yod, a hey. A, a wah and a hey. And it's pronounced Yahuwah. I know some say Yahweh. But remember, if you say a W, pronounce a W. Double U. Double U. It's two U's. Makes a U sound. Depending on the position in the word. And this we have seen. You bring up this right here. It's on the end of names. Yermiyahu. See, that's the Yod, the He, and the U, or the Wa. Yesha Yahu. Even my name, Madad Yahu. Netanyahu, the Prime Minister. So, who have we got to return to? We're not returning to some unnamed deity. He's got a name. Tells you exactly who, I'm telling you exactly who you need to return to. And what he will do. For he has torn us. Some of you out there torn. But guess what? He will refer you. That strong that hit that beginning or strong word. Word so powerful that when he spoke and there was nothing there, when he spoke, creation came into being from nothing. Just how powerful his word is. So what I want to do, Mr. Kyle, I am going to pray. Um, but I, I want you to be able to join me um, here. So I'm probably going to jump on um, the chat room and I want to show you how to get there. For those that, you know, might want to inbox me uh, over there, you might have a prayer, special prayer request or you might want to, um, you know, um, you know, just be involved in prayer. So what you do, if you go to our website, 
living-branch.org. This is this this site will come up. So you have two buttons here. You want to join the site. If you haven't joined, you want to join. Um, because you're going to get so much more when you log in. Uh, it's limited. Um, some of the things, the forums and some of the posts you can only see if you're logged in. So, and I want you to see it before you, before you log in. You have the chat box up here. Okay. Now, once you log in, this is this, what you're going to see. I want you to click on chat. Okay, and after you click on chat, it's going to bring this box up. Okay, then I want you to go down here. It's going to say prayer room. You'll see it. Okay, then once you go down there for prayer room, you know, you'll see a couple of different things. This right here is the prayer room. You'll see where people can chat. Now, Here's your chat box here. So this is where you'll be able to. Um, this, this is where you'll be able to you know, type in your text. And if you want to just chat that way. OK, but if you want a video and you want a uh, audio, then you have to click this right here is the audio button that you'll click on. So I'll probably just do audio, but you can also video chat. That's the button that you click if you have a um, you know if your computer has a video webcam you click that button that'll bring up and get the permission so you can video chat now over here is if you send a message here in the chat box if this says all users everybody's going to be able to see it it's going to come down here you're going to see all people chatting here but if you want a specific person to see you know to um, if you want to send a message to me and nobody else sees it then you would click the arrow here and go select my name then when you type it that message comes only to me okay so uh, this is how it functions so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna pray I'm going to pray for healing. And remember, healing is a beginning or head strong word or mouth. So there's a, a thing of faith involved. And if you don't know what faith is, I suggest you go over to our YouTube channel and watch the video on, he, on faith. What is faith in Hebrew? So that you can get uh, a proper understanding of faith. All right, as we pray, Father, we say Toda in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Toda for the Shabbat, Father. We ask you, Father, to bring healing to your people. You said you sent your word and healed them. Now, Father, your servant, I speak your healing. Father, so many of us view our past as hurt and we see all the negativity father help us through your healing process see that we can use the things that have happened to us in our past to help others and when we help others it's like therapy it it, it does something in our ruach it mends because no one was there for us. But we've got this understanding. We can use this knowledge now. The power of your word. Now, Father, let your Ruach HaKadosh go forth now. And speak to the, to the hearts and minds of your people. Heal their spirits. Heal their souls. Heal them in their bodies. Let the testimonies come back, Father. Heal the things um, that... They didn't even think possible. Now do it, Father, that your name be esteemed in the earth. Let the name of Yahuwah be esteemed in the earth right now. And we say Todah in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Hallel to Yahuwah. Amen. 
All right, so I'm going to go through just a few things. Uh, if you haven't ordered your bookmarkers yet, Ms. Bacall, make sure you get them. Go to our website here, uh, www.bm.hebrewfoundation.org. And if you would like to help support us um, so we can keep those bookmarkers going and, and do other things for the kingdom, uh, go over to Hebrew Foundation. If you want to make a donation to us by PayPal, uh, you can use donations at HebrewFoundation.org. Or you can send it to our mailing address. We do also have an online giving tool that you can use. Um, it'll bring you to this site right here. So you can give by credit card, debit card, or if you like to give by bank account or savings account, please do so. And I just want to say toda to all of those that have um, uh, that have barocked us. And you know, you've been a barakah, you've been a blessing to us. Your prayers, your donations. We couldn't do the things that we do without you. Um, just today, to we had to send out some bookmarkers and some other things uh, overseas, internationally. And, you know, it easily just racked up to $70. But you have to look at what's more important. You know, and, and everybody that comes and get bookmarkers and, and things don't have money to, to be able to um, support the ministry. So we don't stop doing just because they don't but they might be able to reach others. So that's why we continue to send out bookmarkers and to try to be of help. So Ms. Baca, I pray that the Father has given your, your healing. Um, you know, by all means, you get a chance. Uh, send me your testimonies or send me, you know, just drop me a line at prayer at living-branch.org. Now, make sure you go over um to the to the website you get a chance sign in see i'm already it already knows me so i log in i'm just showing you here you you're going to see more stuff um you know like you didn't see this this forum posting uh, for natural health so you know i have people that are into natural health so we're trying to um you know do that and i have other people that are posting that you know just want to be of help so you know and here's the button right here the chat button and what it's going to do is going to bring up see you have someone over already and you just click on prayer room so it brings you into the prayer room and then this right here is the button for the audio and this right here is the button to play the video so, you know, come over, um, you know, if you have a prayer request or um, want prayer, come over and we'll be there for you. So let me go back over. Just wanted to show you that real quick. All right, Ms. Picard, this is Maureen Medan Yash, Yashriel saying, uh, make this the best Shabbat ever. And we just say unto you, Shabbat Shalom.